Hey everybody, welcome to a impromptu video here in the shop. Um, I wasn't going to record anything today because quite frankly, I just have so much to do, so much work, and uh, it takes extra time to record the videos. But if you'll bear with me, I'll just put the camera up and you can follow along as, uh, with the activities that I'm doing today. So what's today? Today is Saturday, July 6th. Um, we have all of the honey extracted off of the colonies, process, processed it at Dave Hansberry's place, which you should have already seen that video by now. I think I would have posted that before this one. Um, so now I'm in the process of treating the colonies with Apigard. Should have already posted some videos on that as well. Uh, but um, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm storing my supers for the year, for the winter. So uh, in the pole barn here, so I have, I don't know, 35-ish, 40 supers that I need to store inside. So how do we do that? Well, for the first time this year, I'm going to use uh, Sertan, which, hang on. It's a uh, product, biological larvicide Sertan, B402. Um, first time ever using it. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It is a preventative, meaning it will not kill any wax moth that is already in the wax on the honey supers. So, but it somehow prevents new wax moth from developing. Eggs, I presume, maybe interrupts the, uh, the life cycle somehow. But I'm not just using this, I'm also using Paramoth, which is really stinky stuff. Ugh. So I've used this for the past, I don't know, two years, I think. One or two years. Um, all of this is inside in a controlled environment, but if there's already wax moth eggs or larvae in my supers, they are going to proliferate within here and be you know, just fine inside for months and months. So I do want to kill the adult wax moths and at the same time prevent new wax moth from hatching. So it, I'm really trying to just double down, um, kill wax moth the best that I can. So I thought that I'd bring you along with me as I'm doing this. So you can't see it, they're off camera, but I have about 30 honey supers spread throughout the shop here. I've already put one, two, three, four, five supers up that I've sprayed with this. Uh, and I'll put a I'll put a link in the description off Amazon where I bought this from, but it's just a handheld sprayer. And this Sertan, you dilute 19 to 1, one part Sertan to 19 parts water. And this is a 28 ounce container. So I put approximately 1.5 ounces of Sertan in here. And it's been, it's been working really well. Um, this is... Perfectly safe for humans, dogs, cats, animals, whatever creature there is. You can spray it directly on the honey supers. Again, it is a preventative. It does not harm humans. It does not affect the honey, anything. Um, however, you know, Paramoth, uh, it doesn't affect it either, but it's not a direct control, meaning you put this at the very top. I'll put it on a paper plate, stacked six supers high with a shim. I'll put some Paramoth on a paper plate and the gases of the Paramoth are heavier than air. They will fall down and they will kill all those wax moths. Again, perfectly safe to use with supers. If you watch uh, Two Bees in a Podcast and J.B. Ellis, he always says, follow the label. So that's what the label says is fine. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and keep going here. So we've got a lot of these empty supers. Okay. And these are all frames. That I, that I extracted recently at Dave's house and that my bees have completely robbed out. So all I'm doing is holding it in one hand, spray down one side, spray down the other. And the best way I, I can describe the smell, it's almost like a sweet, I, it's, it's hard to describe. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's it's not a candy smell, um, but it's like a. I don't, it it does have a distinct odor. So, frames one and two, fully drawn comb. 
empty foundation. I'm going to go ahead and spray it because this is a preventative. Put it at frame three, more drawn comb. Frame four, more drawn comb, which is, you know, beekeeper's gold because next spring the bees will immediately start using this. More drawn comb. And now I'm looking for a second frame of foundation only. This is pretty close. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to get these supers ready to immediately throw on hives next spring. This has some drawn comb. It's not completely drawn. I may set that aside, see if I can find some more drawn comb over here. Yep. Now you may be asking what the difference in color is. I have only allowed a queen to lay in my supers once. And as of now, I'm not gonna allow it again. Uh, so a lot of this darkness that you see is actually the difference in the uh, honey the, the, that the uh, bees brought in in terms of uh, what they were foraging on. So a lot of uh, maybe tulip poplar. Some of this, like that, that's the difference in the, um, the pollen that they were bringing in. But like this one here, I can kind of tell just based off the pattern. This is one that I allowed a queen to lay in before. And you can see that darker color versus the honey band that would have been up here. I just, I don't know, personal preference. I don't like it. So uh, I don't let queens come up into my honey supers anymore. Personal preference, I may change one day. That's uh, the joy of beekeeping. So as of now, I don't want to do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I put nine frames in a super evenly spaced. This is how I want to store it. So frames one and two, four, five, six, eight, nine have drawn comb. Frames three, seven are new, pretty much new foundation. And you can smell that sertan. I, someone put in the comments what it reminds you of. I'm sitting here scratching my dad. What did I say it reminds you of? Yeah, kind of like baby wipes. I don't know. You guys tell me if you've ever used this, what you think it reminds you of. And then, of course, my uh, super discs. I go ahead and close those because if you're going to put Paramoth on these colonies, you want this sort of airtight to the best of your ability. All right. And then I will go up here. Three points of contact. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six high. And I'll go ahead and get a paper plate. But you're not going to be able to see me off camera here, but I'll go ahead and grab one. Now again, follow the label on the Paramoth. Directions for use. And... I'm trying to think exactly how many supers one treatment will treat. Hang on. So sticky. It says stack them as tightly as possible. Technically, you're supposed to wrap them in tape. To get all the cracks, use no more than five full deep supers or ten half deep supers in a stack. So that means five deeps or ten mediums, which I only have six here. 
So it says, uh, taller stacks may now allow for the complete diffusion of heavy gas. And each stack of supers place three ounces of crystals, that's six tablespoons, on the top bars, preferably separated from the frames by a piece of paper or cardboard, paper plate, place covered tightly in place. So three ounces of crystals. So if I'm using this measuring cup, that would be six scoops. So this is one tablespoon, which converts to 1.5 ounces. Three, yeah, three scoops to get 1.5 ounces. So to get to six, we would need twice that, which is six scoops. Three, three ounces. 1.5 ounces times two is three. So... Instead of three scoops, we would need six scoops, six tablespoons. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And this stuff clumps up, so you can just break it up. This stuff's really stinky. But again, that's to treat ten, and we're only treating six. So if you wanted to go a little short, you could. So here's one, two three, four, and I'm just going to do five, and that's it. Okay? Put it on the plate there. Seal this up. Okay. I'm going to go grab a shim. These are shims I made last year, so we're going to go ahead and take this plate of Paramoth. Yeah, if you would. Need to get uh, one of these custom made pieces of plywood to cover the top. We do a lot of customization around here with the help of my dad. And all this shim does is give uh, room for that paper plate to sit on top of the frames. Thank you, Dad. And I just stick it right on top there, put the shim. And it's okay if it doesn't sit perfectly flat yet. The weight over time will settle. And you're just really trying to create somewhat of an airtight space for that Paramoth gas to fall down. And again, with this being inside, climate controlled, I generally, excuse me, um, we don't have any. I try to put some sort of weight on top. I'm underprepared. <laughs> but I will, I will get a weight. Um, I've got some batteries that are pretty heavy that I will sit on top of this. Any sort of cracks like this, over time, it'll push this down. Um, you could tape, technically, okay, you're supposed to tape around every super all the way around. I'm just not doing that. It's not necessary in my environment because there's not going to be any new moths coming in here. This is all indoors and it's climate controlled. However, there very likely is some sort of wax moth, moth eggs or larva that's already in these supers and combination of the sertan along with the paramoth is going to kill them. At least that worked very well for me last year. I had very little to none uh, wax moth damage in these supers. So I'm just telling you what works for me. So uh, if you're in a similar environment, it can work for you as well. So one, two, three, four, five. So that takes care of six supers. I have many to go, but this is what I do. Like I said, I'll put a heavy weight on top of that um, when I can find one. <laughs> I use batteries in the past, just something heavy. You could use bricks, something to keep it weighed down. But um, that's really it. Uh, we'll see how this Sertan works. I've not used it before. If you have, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. This is a much smaller bottle than I thought it would be, quite honestly. How many ounces is this? It doesn't say. Uh, oh, five ounces. Wow. It's 
pretty small. I, I forget what I paid for this. I'll put a link down below. Um, I got this from Better B, and I got this from Better B. Uh, I paid with my own money. I don't get any kickbacks, so I'll put a, a link down there in the description. Um, I'll put a link to this Amazon. I think I got this. I do get a kickback on those. That is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you want to support the channel, and you want to buy, you want to click on the Amazon links that I provide. It does help me. It does help the channel. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I think that's all. I've got, I don't know, 25, 30 more supers to go through. We're going to get them stacked up here, and we're going to get them stored for the winter. So hope you guys like this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next video.